in more medication and will consume more cost will be costed for uh, OMOH and non-OMOH hospitals. Uh, where we can conduct dialysis surveillance uh, in uh, in dialysis center for outpatient hemodialysis and patient on hemodialysis with acute kidney injury. Here, this is photo of uh, hemodialysis center. We have different type of access vascular access with different risk. Uh, we have arteriovenous fistula, arteriovenous graft, permanent central line, and the temporary central line. Here in this slide down, we can show the sequence from lowest risk to highest risk. Uh, the lowest risk we can see here is the AV fistula, then AV graft, then by the end is uh, tunneled and non-tunneled central line. So we are advised to use uh, AV fistula and AV graft, but it is uh, not easy to, uh, to uh, proceed in, in all our patients because need operation. Dialysis, uh, surveillance, uh, in, uh, inclusion criteria, we are including in dialysis event, hemodialysis outpatient, a trans uh, trans uh, transit patient who came to our center from another, uh, transfer from another center who is coming on the first and second day of working day in, in the month, and uh, include the peritoneal dialysis patient or a transit patient undergoing temporary hemodialysis, patient with acute kidney injury, uh, which meet, meeting these three criteria, diagnosed uh, uh, as acute renal injury by the physician and uh, not diagnosed as in this stage renal disease, and no more than six months past since patient initiate as hemo, uh, outpatient hemodialysis. Exclusion criteria, non-hemodialysis uh, patient, inpatient, reverse of a transient patient. In a dialysis event surveillance, total number of outpatient undergoing hemodialysis exclude impatient and we have three different type of event uh, IV antimicrobial start or antifungal start and we are excluding anti uh, antiviral positive earth blood culture and the local site infection uh, means sign of inflammation redness pain and swelling Uh, date of event could be uh, IV antimicrobial start. We will consider the starting date of antiviral start is the date of event. As a first dose that received to the by, to the patient uh, in as outpatient, positive blood culture. We are obtaining the date of the specimen collection as a date of event. Sign of inflammation, pus, redness, swelling, as the date, uh, this is the date of diagnosis, this is the date of event. Or could be combination, more than one event, we are reporting the earliest date of three above type. 20. 21 day rule as mentioned by my colleague uh, in uh, other health associated infection like uh, clapsy county uh, there are uh, repeat infection 
time frame. During repeat infection time frame, not allowed to report another type of uh, event. Here in dialysis event, we are uh, using 21 day rule. Uh, during 20 day, uh, day not uh, not allowed to uh, to report any other type of event from the same event here for uh, each type of event iv antimicrobial start we will report the last reported end of IV antimicrobial course. The 21 day starting from the last day of antimicrobial start. Yani for example, we have course for five days of anti uh, antimicrobial. The last day of the antimicrobial, we can count 21 day to, uh, and during 21 day, we cannot report any other type of antimicrobial start. The second one, we will go through positive blood culture. We will report positive blood culture in the date of collection of the day specimen collection. And we will count 21 day during these 20. One days we cannot report any other type uh, of positive blood culture. For also sign and uh, symptoms of uh, inflammation, pus redness, or increased swelling at access site, we should count also 21 days during this. We cannot report the same event. Uh, IV antimicrobial start report all starts of anti, uh, anti uh, IV antimicrobial administered in outpatient setting, regardless of uh, it is related to. Uh, dialysis event or the, uh, the uh, vascular access or related to the blood uh, infection uh, infection in uh, blood due, uh, due to eclapsy or due to other cause report iv antibiotic or uh, antifungal and don't forget don't report iv antiviral agent start Start is defined as a single outpatient dose or first outpatient dose, of course. IV antimicrobial start report outpatient start that are continuation of inpatient treatment or another outpatient dialysis facility. There must be 21 or more days for the end of one reported IV antimicrobial course to the beginning of the second IV antimicrobial start for two start to be reported as separate dialysis event, even if different antimicrobial are used. If IV antimicrobials are stopped for a few than 21 days and then restarted the second start is not considered a new dialysis event and we should not report it to apply 21 days rule to outpatient iv antimicrobial start that are continuation of inpatient treatment Consider the start day to be first day of outpatient treatment. Here, this is a, like example of uh, anti microbial start in four June till six June. 
the patient uh, uh, as outpatient uh, on 4 June started IV antimicrobial then in 7 of June patient admitted to the hospital on 8 June started IV antimicrobial then continue till patient discharge and return back to as outpatient in the center so here the first dose as outpatient we should report it and here in during the admission should be not reported while when re, re, retain back as outpatient as a continuation of IV antimicrobial should be again re, reported even if not exceed the period 21 days Here, another example. On 5th of February, started antimicrobial, IV antimicrobial, till 9 of February. So we should count 21 day rule from 10 of February till 21 days. should be not report any antimicrobial again. Here we have in, uh, for example, if, if we are exceeding our uh, 21 days here in 5th of March, we can report it while here if, anti, uh, if IV antibiotic start on 28 of February, still within 21 days, we, so we should not report it. Sorry. Here. Uh, in the second draw, uh, the antimicrobial start on the 5th of February till 9. So we can start our uh, 21 days rule of from 10 of February. We can count if any antimicrobial start here in this day, we should not be reported. Uh, positive blood culture this is the second type of event we can be reported in dialysis event the date of positive culture result is based on the date the blood specimen was collected not the date of the laboratory re release for us the result positive blood culture blood specimen collection consideration evaluation for bacteremia should always include more than one blood culture set obtaining a blood culture set from two sites separate in time by several minutes and ensure a septic technique is applied here this is the example of uh, applying 21 day rule for positive blood culture here in 17 of February the blood specimen collected for blood culture and then on 5th of March there are another positive blood culture on 17 and 5th of March so during this period 
does not exceed more than 21 days. So we should not report it. Don't report. While here, on 17 of February, we have positive blood culture. And again, we have another positive cul blood culture on 11 of March. This, we can report it. Suspected source of positive blood culture. For suspected course of positive blood culture could be related to the site of uh, access or could be related to another site. Source of other than vascular access. Could be culture at another site. Could be obtained culture before at another site, and we can find uh, the same organism matching the same organism. Or in another scenario, we we can find the same organism in another uh, site, but before. We found this organism, it, it, it is not obtained from that site, uh, the culture, not cultured before. So we can, uh, we can report it and the other type of suspicion uh, related to contamination. Uh, we, we say it is contamination related if it is one of the common cells and we can found here the list of common cells organisms like diphtheroids, bacillus species and the list. And the other third type of suspicion is uncertain. We should uh, report it as uncertain if it is not from other two. Yani we, can, we cannot say uncertain. Uh, yani we should rule out contamination and related to another site of infection. Pus redness and uh, increase of the swelling at vascular access site. Report each new outpatient episode where the patient has one or more symptoms of pus greater than expected redness or greater than expected swelling at vascular access site, regardless of whether the patient receives treatment. Always report pus, report redness or swelling if greater than expected and suspicious for infection. There must be a 21 rule or more days between the onset of one episode and the second episode of infection. If report episodes of bus, redness, or increase swelling at the vascular access site, resolve and then Recure within 21 days of the first onset, the recurrence is not reported. Here, example of applying 21 day rule for local site infection at vascular access site. On 17 of February, patient diagnosed has local site infection and from diagnosis there 17 February we are starting to count 21 days rule so patient again here has 
bus and the swelling and redness on 5th of March. This duration not exceed 21 days. So don't report as another event. While here in the second row, on 17 February, patient get again an infection, local site infection, and again has the same local site infection on 11 of March. So here, when we count between 17 up to 12 of March, exceed 21 days. So we should report it. For calculation of numerator data, we will calculate IV antimicrobial start, positive blood culture, bus redness, or increased swelling at vascular access site. For dominator data, we will record the patient who came to the center in the first and second working day. Even the transit patient. Also here for uh, demonitor data, if the patient has multiple vascular axes, we will record the highest risk for patient. If the patient has both implemented axes, a graft or fistula and the catheter, count the patient ha as having the catheter. If there are no patient in given vascular access category, enter zero. And we should make sure our da uh, data is with higher quality and for uh, uh, calculation of the rate of dialysis event in numerator we will count dialysis events as IV antimicrobial start, positive blood culture, bus redness or increased swelling at vascular access site. For numerator data we will put uh, for number of patients per month. Who, who came to the center in the first and second day and multiply it by 100. And we should make sure that our, our data with high quality for dialysis bundle, for dialysis bundle prevention, uh, we should apply hand hygiene before catheter insertion and the axis manipulation, chloroxidine for skin antisepsis during insertion and during the dressing change, catheter hub disinfection every time catheter is secured or disconnected, antimicrobial ointment to catheter exit site under during dressing change, In hemodialysis bundle for catheter, we are applying during hemodialysis catheter connection, disconnection, and exit site care during dialysis station rotation disinfection, hemodialysis injectable medication preparation, hemodialysis injectable medication administration. Hemodialysis bundle for fistula and the graft, arteriovenous fistula graft cannulation, and during decannulation, dialysis station rotation disinfection, hemodialysis injectable medication preparation, and the medication administration.
here we are starting from uh, arteriovenous fistula graft cannulation. We should uh, should be perform uh, hand hygiene, donning of personal protective equipment, mask with face shield or mask with goggles, plus gown and gloves, clean site with 20% chlorohexidine wipes or soap and water, apply appropriate skin antisepsis, chlorohexidine more than 0.5% with 70% isopropyl alcohol or 10% bovidone iodine and allow it to dry. Don't contaminate needle insertion site after antisepsis. This is too much. Uh, this is most common mistake in dialysis during uh, cannulation. Insert needle and connect to blood line aseptically. The second part related to arteriovenous fistula graft decannulation. During the decannulation, it should be start with hand hygiene, donning of personal or protective equipment, disconnect from a blood line aseptically, discard the tubing in lake proof container, wear clean gloves to compress the side. Remove needle aseptically, apply clean gauze bandage to the side. During uh, proper PPE, ensure that patient has left of dialysis station before a cleaning. Discard all single use supply. A clean and a disinfect the dialysis station and bed uh, side table and the dialysis machine by the nursing and by the housekeeper clean uh, and disinfect the dialysis chair or beds during uh, medication preparation uh, should be performed hand hygiene proper medication in a clean designated area, inspect all vials, prepare medication using aseptic technique, use a new needle and a new syringe to enter all vials, discard all single dose vials, discard or probably store all multi-dose vials, and don't forget to label it. Hemodialysis injectable medication administration. Perform hand hygiene before and after. Use proper personal protective equipment. Or probably transport medication to patient station. Disinfect injection port with appropriate antiseptic. Administer medication using aseptic technique. Discard syringe at point of use. <coughs> Sorry. Dialysis bundle analysis. Uh, in nominator, uh, patient with catheter or IV, uh, AV fistula, uh, graft with compliant applicable bundle component. And if there is any patient not compliant to any one of the component of the bundle should be not included, will get zero. In dominator, total number of patient with catheter or arteriovenous fistula graft review for the bundle compliance multiply by 100. by type of access. Here, this is, uh, uh, this is the international benchmark per type of uh, access. 
for arteriovenous fistula 0.26 uh, for uh, arteriovenous graft 0.39 for CBC 2.16 while our national benchmark for the last year is 0.96 here, the, this is the international benchmark per type of access and per type of event. Thank you for listening. If you have any question, you can uh, put it in the chat.